Hey guys, welcome back. Last time I did a unboxing of Speedy ES Dokken from Samurai Pizza Cats, and today we'll be doing the newly released um, Guido form from the same series as well. So pretty much Guido is the same box set, so you can actually see that uh, the the whole style is the same with um, Speedy from last time. So it's a slip box. So we can slip this out and slip it out. And you can see. Okay. So that's the one. And then so you can see the box sit here. Like that. So pretty much the same layout. Big box. Comes with the bird. And then all the armor pieces goes on. Different expressions that you can actually have for him. And it all comes with like old like last time. The face and the eyes is actually all different pieces. So that's actually really, really cool. And then you see him like that. So let's do Let's grab our trusty knife and slice it open. So hopefully this time we'll be able to build the model a lot easier because with the speedy one that was actually kind of, kind of awkward. <laughs> so probably we don't need the instruction manual this time. Let me just put the box away somewhere. Same thing with speedy. So after eight years they actually haven't changed the layout. So that is actually really really cool because I personally really like consistency. Um, it will really suck if Speedy was one type of box and then Polly and Guido were the complete different one. I'll be pretty angry. Um, I'm really just annoyed like that. So, the instruction manual seems to be the same. It's the hard type of card for it, but I don't think we need to open it today. So, because we already know how to build the model. It comes with full trace again. So, you can see this time I'll grab the knife and just slice it open just to pull it off so it's easier for you guys to see so, uh, like that. Maybe. so oh okay so let me pull the two oh, okay they actually changed it a bit this time so this time remember how in the last one there was supposed to be like four different layers this time it seems like um, both of them are combined together. So the bottom one is the base. I would assume that it's probably still the same with Speedy. Sorry, it should actually be this way. And now you actually, so this is the other parts that um, he, um, Guido has. So the one thing that I can notice straight away is that it seems like the golden piece here is silver, um, gold plated, where Speedy's one was actually just painted on. So. It is actually kind of annoying. I'm not too sure if Speedy's one actually got. Um, a, I know that there was a re-release, so I'm not too sure if Speedy's one is actually going to be the updated one with the gold plated as well. If it is, I probably have to buy it. So that's a bit of a that's kind of sad to be honest on my part here because I actually kept them sealed for that long and. I probably need to buy a new one. So this part should all be easy. So it's actually just second layer would just be the bird, and then the first layer would just be Guido himself. So it's actually should be quite cool. Yeah. So you can see that Guido's bird is slightly different than what Speedy's one looks like, but then. Overall, the design, um, overall, the, the construction should just all be the same. And then we have Guido himself. Same thing as before. You get three sets of face and three sets of mouth. And then, so the cool part about Guido is that his umbrella is actually a sword as well. So he actually, so in the anime, he actually uses the umbrella and to, I remember, to hypnotize enemies, right? And then he can actually grab the sword out and, yeah, start hacking away. So pretty much the same. Here is the taller one of the three. So that is pretty cool. So let's have a look. Man, makes me want to go back and watch the cartoon again. But it's been over twenty years if you really think about it. So that's pretty crazy. All right. So let's have a look. Ah, okay, here we go. So, 
last time with Speedy, I was mentioning about how um, the models were, the, the figure was, a, the articulation was a bit bad. So let's have a look at if they've actually, oh cool, so with Guido, it seems like there is a ball joint. I probably have to recheck that one, I'm not too sure, but you can see that with Guido, the quality of the actual model is still the same. It is actually very, very nice. And of course, the ball joint is the same as well. The tail is not as, yeah, the tail is definitely not like Speedy's one where it was like all loose all over the place. So that is actually really, really good. That's actually, that's actually a lot better than that model. Um, if you talk about like first articulation, but again, like I mentioned, that was from eight years ago. I actually haven't opened it, haven't played with it, so it was probably just deteriorating in the box. Oh, probably. So, armor pieces, it's um, pretty much the same. So all the armor pieces, are, well, except the chest piece, should all be plastic, just like that. And inside there's a little groove, so you can just click it on, onto the model itself. And click it on like that. So that's his arm piece. And then for the thigh piece, you just pop it on and you just pop it on like that. And then for the leg piece, is, oh, I mean for the foot piece, it should still be the same as you can see. It should just slide on or you can just click it on, I think. It will just slide on and then we'll look. Alright, so this little ball joint should actually go here by the looks of it. Should I just pop it on? No? Uh -huh. So let's have a look. Oh, strange. Speedy's one was a bit easier to put on. So... Oh, that's actually very, very strange. Ah, here we go. So Okay, so this is a bit more different to Speedy. So the thing is that the, just like I said, the ball joint should, the little ball joiner should actually just be clicking into that piece there. So if you actually just do it from the top, it's actually a lot easier like that. So that is actually pretty cool. Does he stand out well? Yeah, stands out pretty well like that. And then you have the shoulder pieces. So. My assumption is um, still the same. Um, you see that little little point there. So what we might have to do is we'll have to remove this piece and it should uncover that. And pop the, yeah, pop it in. Right, just move the tail. So pop it in like that. And then the second piece, we pop it in like that. And then we can pop this one in. So was it upside down? I think it was upside down like that, right? Oh. And then this will lock it in. And then you can you can still freely move the, the shoulder pad. And that's actually pretty, pretty cool. So like that. So lastly, of course, we have this chest piece, which should be die cast as well, because why not? So let's just pop it on. So chest piece, paint job is pretty good, all glossed. So that is very, very nice. So just like the last one, it should just go on. So just sit on the side like that. And yep, pretty much that's it. So for him, that's, that's actually really, really cool. So lastly, just like Speedy, we'll remove the helmet like that. And so there's no other movable pieces here. So it's just the plastic helmet. And then he has his uh, mask base like that. So you can, just like Speedy, what you can do is you can just remove all that and you can replace it with all the other things. For this one, oh, that's actually quite interesting. I see that it's probably a magnet. Wow, that is really, really cool. So this time it's actually just a magnet and it just sticks on like that. That is pretty impressive. And then you just pop it on 
his head. Pop it on his head. Oh, so you don't actually ha even have to take it off. Only when you change face. So you can just pop it on just like that. And then lastly, we have... Let's grab the knife. Let's, uh, let's get the bird out. Oh, so I'm actually really intrigued to see what... Um, if the speedy actually does actually come with a new version because if it does i'll definitely have to buy a new one for him so, oops oops actually knocked the camera out so i'm sorry for doing that like that sorry about that so the bird is pretty much still the same design so to put put it on you bend the legs back and you move the um forward and then like this is actually like a rocket boost for in the end in the cartoon so like that and then this part here will actually just go on the back of Guido just like that boom mm. actually that's a that's an interesting point yeah just like that pretty much that's it so is it <laughs> so it suffers from the same problem with Speedy, is that it is a bit heavy on the back once you actually put the bird on. Um, the bird wings can't... Oh, okay, it's actually not that bad if you move it a bit more forward. So pretty much, compared to Speedy, he is a lot taller. and But Speedy is a bit more... Yeah, it's a bit more loose on the joints there. So I'll probably do an update if I... I'll probably do some more research on what the... Um, what the new... If there is actually a new version of Speedy that is actually a bit better, and I'll probably give everybody an update. So, yep. So a, a bit of a shorter video this time, which is quite good. That means that we're actually improving and building. And um, yeah, lastly, I'll just show you the face that he comes with. So let me just grab out. I won't show you the hands because pretty much the hands is just yeah different postures and stuff like that. So this time. Sorry, let me just pick it all out. So he comes with like three different faces. One is the grinning face. So again, you can actually have him close eyed grinning, side look grinning, sarcastic look, and then you can have him angry grinning. Oh, angry face. So that's actually really cool. The next one is um kind of like open mouth, and then you can have him like that. Like that. Huh, that's pretty cool. And then angry face, like that. And then lastly, we have him like a normal smile. So just like Speedy. And then you have him like that. So close eye. Angry. Yeah, determined. So yeah, overall this is actually really cool. Um the whole the whole so far I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing here. And yeah, thanks for watching. And next last one we will be doing unboxing and construction of polyester. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon and you guys take it easy.